back, and as I mentioned, we have Jeff Parker here. Well, surprise! Yes, yeah, not twi once a week, but twice yeah, this twice time. twice this week. Wow! <laughs> oh, well, it's awesome to have you back on, and I know you have some really interesting and great information for our community. Of course, uh, the middle of the month, we have the announcements that June 15th, you know, the whole state is going to be open. However, we're not really sure what that means. Um, especially for the village. So right. you are here to help us understand. So, yes, thank you. Um, so the big news, obviously, we've been talking about it, is the governor says on, on the 15th of June that the state's going to reopen, that he's going to, in a sense, walk away from that blueprint uh, for a safe economy so there won't be any tears anymore, so right. the restrictions are going to go away. What we haven't heard is the preciseness of that information yet, but we're taking the assumption that basically all of the regulations that have been in place, mask wearing, um, social distancing, all of that's going away. So what's our reopening plan? Right. And so I'm here to announce some of that and, and also indicate that we will be in a continuum process of watching the state regulations as well as planning for uh, a steps up with regards to um, some of the topics I'll get into in just a second. Now so, I I, I'm sorry, I, I sure. imagine that you are, I know you said you're basing most of this on what the governor will say. Well, what happens if he changes his mind? I mean, that has been known to happen where it's like they're going to go one way, but they're going to go another. So imagine that you're going to have to scramble to do something different. We'll, we'll have to be aware of that, but we're, again, uh, we're, this plan that I'm talking about today, we're planning on being open um, okay. on the 15th. If for some reason he comes back and says, we're not reopening, well, that's a different story. And, and, um, and we'll have to adjust. But okay. to some degree, I think we can do all of these reopenings, irregardless if there's some modifications. Oh, okay, good, so. good. Okay, perfect. So, so first we'll start off with what we have open right now. So right now, and uh, thank you for putting that chart up there, uh, we have Clubhouse 4 um, is open right now for activities, um, and you can go on ActiveNet to um, online reservations with regards to um, some of the amenities over at Clubhouse 4, and there's different the sewing room, there's the um, wood shop room, all those. Um, our, hot pool, our hot tubs, um, as you can see, they're pool two, four, and five, eight patrons is the maximum. So we, we, we're following the guidelines by the state. There's only a maximum amount of people that can, can use the facilities. Locker rooms um, are two, four, and six, uh, two, four, five, and six are open. Manor alterations, um, scheduling by appointment right. only. Uh, and we're going to continue the appointment process, but right now it's only a half day from yeah. eight to noon. Um, we'll talk about the expansion that's coming. And then the pools, again, are a by appointment only process, but mm -hmm. we're open. And again, resident services is appointments only in the afternoon. We're going to modify that. You'll see that in the next slide. And the village library, again, is on modification system right now. Right. So all of those are open, but in modifications, either reservations needed or um, a specific time process, right. such as the two departments. Right. And, and, and our fitness, too. Right. Is, is modified. Right, because we're outdoor yeah. gym right, right now and um, limited with regard okay. to indoor. Okay, perfect. And so the next is what is going to happen so, June 15th. Yeah, come June 15th, assuming again, we're going to say, hey, the governor's going green light, as we say it. All right. Um, so with regards to Clubhouse One, no restrictions or reservations with regards to bocce ball down there. Uh -huh. And then at Clubhouse One, uh, no restrictions or reservations. People can go indoor, outdoor gym down at Clubhouse One. Um, and the mini gym, badminton, pickleball, all of those things will be open for people to go in and play. All of our activities are really reopened uh, right. with regards to Clubhouse 1. Clubhouse 2, indoor recreation classes, we'll, be, we'll begin those again. Okay. Um, just, But again, I want to focus on that those are just recreation classes. There won't be any scheduled big activities at this point in right. time. Uh, club, Clubhouse 4, uh, no restrictions or reservations. So all of the activities, the wood shop, uh, the sewing machine, just the limitations in and of themselves and how much space we have, okay. um, but not a social distancing space. Right. Just if there's only room for 10 people in that sewing, then only 10 people can be in there sewing. Exactly. Right? You, that type well, of they didn't want people to go unannounced or, I mean, I, that's the thing I think I'm a little confused about is that, you know, will you still have limitations on how many people can be in one room or no, not at all? Not oh, at all. Okay, so people can just hang out. Yeah. Um, okay. But but what you'll have is obviously if there's only 20 sewing machines, you only can have well, sure, that, that kind of limitation yes, okay. with regards to. Okay. Um, 
So one of the things I mentioned earlier was manner alterations was a half day. Well, we'll be going to uh, 8 to 4.30 all, okay. all day, reservation based. So we'll just be expanding that. Um, and then um, paddle tennis, uh, again, no, re no restrictions or reservations. Okay. Um, and there's the hours, Monday, Wednesdays. And so all of this information that I'm walking through right now, mm -hmm. and I don't want to overly rush, but is going to be on our website, on Facebook, we're going to get a blast out today, okay. um, and then we'll come back next week and talk about it some more. So okay. everybody knows what's going to happen by the time we get to the 15th. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad that we're at least outlining sure. the kind of an overview of everything so sure. people have a good idea. I mean, this must be very refreshing for everyone to know. If I can go back to the last slide, <laughs> I just wanted to mention down here at the community center. Uh, that's, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Here. that's here. That's here, um, sure. Uh, the, I wanted to say, mention Clubhouse 7, we're going to work with the bridge room and a pending uh, club commencement of that. Um, so right. we're, we're in dialogue with them as when, when they want to look at starting up and if, if it's possible that they could be geared up and ready to go by June 15th, then, then we want to get the, that group in there because that's a big part of Clubhouse 7 is, mm -hmm. is the bridge <coughs> opportunities. Okay. The community center here, um, so we have table tennis. Um, and the Mac and, and PC clubs, so we're going to open those back up for those groups to use the community fitness center, and um, uh, we're going to look at modified hours on the, the fitness center because we're going to open up, if we can, both fitness center at Clubhouse One and here, and we have some limited staffing issues right now, so we may have some limited hours, but we're going to at least get it open. Oh, okay, all right. Well, that's good. And now I do, I do know that you said that there will be still a reservation system for uh, resident services. So if the building is open, can people still do a walk-in on resident services in that area or no? They'll be able to, but we really are going to set it up that they need to make a reservation to come in. In okay. other words, we're, we're not suggesting that you walk in because we won't have the staff available. Okay. So we're gonna really emphasize the call, make a reservation, then walk in, as opposed in, to okay. just walking in, because sure. the staff's going to be allocated already to meet those people that have reservations. Okay, great. Same thing with manor alterations. Yes. We're just expending those hours, right. um, and, and that, um, so we'll be 8 to 4.30 there. So again, paddle tennis, pickleball, um, those type of activities, no reservations in, in the prime time. Um, we are going to still continue to use the court reservation for that non-prime time hours so that make sure people can get a court yeah. and, and get it reserved. So um, we'll be um, watching that and using that as effectively as can. Mm -hmm. Pools, um, oftentimes talked about probably the most, one of the most uh, um, busy activities that we have. So all of the pools, except for pool two, which is the first one there, will be non-reservation. Walk in, okay. use the pools okay. um, with those hours that, we're, that we have there. Pool two is where we have lap swimming. Yes. Uh, designated lap swimming. So we're going to continue the reservation program there because people like getting the reservation knowing that they're going to swim their laps at the designated time. So okay. um, the consternation that we have with pools right now is pool one is closed, unfortunately, because we um, lost our boiler. Um, well, that's it, right. It broke and isn't down. that supposed to come back soon? Or? We're hoping that okay. in, in, in the next few weeks that we're going to okay. get that boiler and get that thing back up. And as soon as we do, um, then obviously pool one will open up and that will give us more capacity with sure. regards to pools. Okay. Um, real estate um, open houses Great. can now start to occur again in the village. I know our realtors are excited about getting out there and, and showcasing, um, which is great. Perfect timing. A lot of sales going on right mm -hmm. now, so that's mm -hmm. good news. Recreation classes um, indoors at Clubhouse 2 and 5, which I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Again, resident services, uh, same thing. Appointment only from 8 to 4.30 call right. those numbers and you can get those numbers and we're, that's a number that's already being used. Yes. So continue that operation, make an appointment. We really haven't booked all of the appointments. So that's a good news. People are used to going online now or calling us. So that's, right. that's a really good operation. It makes our, us more efficiency in the sense of dealing with our residents yes. and, and getting their services that they need. Right. So we want to continue that and obviously tennis, um, no reservations with regards to the courts, except when we go into the later in the afternoon. Right, right. Now, now one thing I wanted to bring up for resident services, the RFIDs, that seems to be working really well where people pull up into the back, 
we go out there and we meet them. I mean, how convenient. You don't ever have to get out of your car. And we'll continue to do I that. I love that. Absolutely. That it's was great. It. And we want to encourage people to get those RFIDs because it's so yeah. convenient to get in and out of the, the village right. through the gates. I kind of think that some of the things that we've done and, and lots of other businesses, like the other day I went to Goodwill and I, you know, you drive through the back and you just open up your trunk and they take your stuff out. It's super convenient. So, I mean, I think a lot of these things will still go into play. Right. So, so what's going to open, uh, anticipate opening after the July 4th weekend? So obviously we have the July 4th parade that we're looking forward yes. to and exciting. Um, with regards to the clubs and the equestrian center, the clubs we're working already in trying to get the system set up, but we'll begin taking reservations then for the clubs to start having their meetings. Okay. Some clubs meet a lot. Some clubs meet just once a month, once mm -hmm. a quarter. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to make sure that we have the staffing appropriately to set up and take down for all of those clubs. And that's going to take a little longer than June 15th to get everything set up and make sure the reservation process is ready right. to go, set up so that we can get the clubs re-energized and back into right. their operations. So that's why we, we believe that we'll have um, keeping my fingers crossed, all of the clubhouses ready to go by July right. um, versus the modified system that you saw earlier where we have most of them, but, but mainly for classes and that right. type of activity. Right. Uh, and then the last thing is the equestrian center. And um, the reason for the equestrian center, uh, again, opening in July versus the 15th is that we're actually doing a major um, upgrade at the arena. And so the riding program isn't in existence why we had that arena closed. Yeah. So we just anticipate opening that up in uh, July 6th. So we'll be excited about that. That's great. I mean, you know, the Equestrian Center is, is, is really made a lot of changes over the year, all good. And I think people are really going to enjoy it once it is open. Yeah, and I know that the committee and everything is um, anticipating having a big barbecue down there in August yeah. and showcasing it, um, yes. you know, new paint and, uh, and a new arena and yeah. new lighting and new trees and, and just, a, just a new upgrade and yeah. a feeling of the Equestrian Center. So it's exciting. Just, just another just another plus of living here at the village, right? Absolutely <laughs> positive. Well, thank you so much. I think this is a it's a it's great news. It's a lot of work, so of course everyone, please be patient. Um, you know, a lot of people are out and about, and it's like you mentioned before, it's hard to get uh, additional workers because we have more availability for jobs. So uh, just be patient. Yeah, and a lot of the activities that we're doing are. are don't have to have direct uh, management. That's why we can open up, you know, Perfect. the outside activities, the courts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's the um, the clubs and working with the clubs in anticipation of those reservations and setups and yeah. takedowns for the clubs that take more time and more activity. And that's why you'll see those come online in July. Exactly. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you for the information. Looking have a great weekend, and I think we're going to see you next Tuesday. Sounds great. And we'll All give right. a if there's anything more that we can update on this, we'll absolutely do it. All right. Perfect. Thank you. And remember that all of the information we have just gone over will be available on the website and you can go to lagunawoodsvillage.com or you can check your emails because there will be an e-blast that will go out sometime today. Stick around. We'll be right back with the movie and more information. <laughs>